Hi, today I thought I'd show you uh, probably a couple of videos on how to how I upload a, a survey and how I would get a, a volume out of a dig or a stockpile a bit of a digital train modeling in AutoCAD ok first of all I'll show you the Excel file this is uh, as, as it comes out of the instrument it has to be in the form point number Eastings, Northings, Height, Code if you don't have a height you have to set it to zero if you don't have a code you'll have to make something up it's obviously a valid layer because this is the layer that the point will be written to in AutoCAD ok so go back into AutoCAD to uh, load a .NET program it's net load so let's type that and enter navigate to where you keep your scripts and then uh, open that and to actually start it it's SST that brings up the menu Export doesn't work. I haven't. Not that I haven't. Doesn't work. I, I haven't written it because the VBA program still works at the moment. So when needs must, I'll do it. But the import works okay. So you pick the file to import. So we'll pick survey. Open. Plot the points in 3D. You don't want labels. Uh, we'll ask for coding. If you don't ask for coding, all it will do is plot the points to the layers. But we'll ask for coding. I'll show you that now. So point level. We'll just uh, we'll leave that to the layer. You can change the layers here individually if you like. If not, it just, they just go in as the code from the instrument. You can also add a shape to it, like a little circle or a, a cross, but we'll just leave it as a node at the moment. Levels, yep, yeah, we'll plot that. Now the fence, we want that plotted as a line. I shot halfway at the post, so the levels aren't going to mean anything, so we can switch those off. And plot the track. Once again, we want that as a line. Uh, I won't bother with levels for that one either. Plot that. There you go. Zoom. Z. Enter. E for extents. Enter. And there it is. Up to uh, switch the layer thing back on. So go to fence. And, uh, make that. Uh, make the track green. Okay. I obviously walked down the road, walked across the road, and back up again, but there wasn't actually a, a line there. So, okay, that was the survey of the, the field before we started. So I'll save that. Save that as survey. I'll quickly run through it again. Go to new. Open. So it's SST. So load it. So I'll start it rather. File to import. Browse. Excavation. I'll put it in 3D don't want labels you can plot labels if they're meaning of if you actually gave the you know if you're picking up piles or something you could give them the uh, the label name but in this case it's just point numbers so it's meaningless once again we'll ask for coding tb which is top of batter we'll have that as a line bb was bottom of batter have that as a line then i did a couple of point level shots in the bottom won't be lines but levels do mean something so it's zoom and e Enter. And the bottom of the batter is red. Top of the batter is blue. Okay, so I walked around the top and then went down to the bottom, so it hasn't drawn a line across here, but we can just do that manually. Use this little icon here to make the object the current layer. Okay, now let's change it to TB. So line from the end to the end, not the node, the node in that case was the insertion point of the text. Now you can either just change this here, or you could have used that. Go again for the what's the batter. We'll save that as excavation. You can if you want as well, so if you go to insert, it will attach the survey. There you go. So that's the full the hole as it is. You can just delete the other points if you wanted to make it into a, a progress model. Okay, in the next video I'll show you how to get the volume of this uh, excavation. Okay.